Hi, I'm Daniel McGowan. Um, I work for a company called FireEye, which is a cybersecurity company, and I manage the software globalization effort in FireEye. So, so things are changing very quickly in globalization. In fact, they've always been changing really very quickly, and I think it's important to uh, make connections with your peers and understand what they're going through. We're all we're all finding things out for the first time with every new project and every new every new release, every new technology we use. So I think getting that, that uh, input from, from other people who are on the same journey is something that's really valuable. Meet the peers, yeah, yeah. Obviously networking is important. Um, understand um, some of the new technologies that they're using to meet their goals. Um, as, as we all know, things are changing. It's becoming more cloud-based. Software releases are faster. Um, and these are, these are journeys that other people are on, um, the same as, as myself, and I want to see what, what we can learn from each other. So um, in terms of the technology, I think the biggest thing has been the change in um, development uh, processes, more towards more frequent releases. Um, some, some changes are around formalized development processes, like the change to Agile, and so the way that uh, software particularly is delivered or available for translation has changed with smaller increments coming faster and we need to turn around them turn around those increments much more quickly is something that's uh, that's uh, in some ways helped software localization and, and in some ways it's, it's made it more difficult it means that we need to be more on the ball to be able to to meet those deadlines I think that to be effective, we need to be more integrated into the processes, so the content and software development processes, so that it's much more seamless. Um, we need to be able to do more work upfront, so in the pre-translation phase, so with using things like um, pseudo-translation, which is not a new technology in and of itself, but integrating it more deeply into, into the processes, so that, for instance, we're every build, every nightly, every interim build automatically produces uh, a internationalizable test, testable product, so one with pseudo translation and with different locales and so on. Uh, I think that's that's the key to be able to solve all the problems before we get to the translation phase, rather than trying to retrofit them across twenty different languages. Um, I think the trend to um, smaller increments is is something that's going to continue. I think that uh, in terms of the technology that, uh, that we're deploying on, that's obviously changed to very more cloud-based. And So that means that the products themselves are you know, cloud-first, internet-first. Um, I think something that hasn't changed is the need to educate developers. You know, some of the battles that we thought we'd finished uh, fighting back in the 80s and 90s, we're still you know, struggling to uh, to have developers um, understand the, the importance of internationalization. I think the, there, is, there is one thing that has changed, though, that's the recognition that it's something that they need to do, they just don't know how to do it. Um, so the cybersecurity space is really interesting, and it's something that changes really, really quickly, um, almost from month to month. So that's, that's, for me, that's a really exciting environment to be in. But it's hard then to make, uh, make the long-term investments. Um, so we have to be kind of careful as to what we, what we do to develop uh, our own internal tooling. Um, it should be as flexible and you know, broadly as pickable as possible. Um, and that's something that we, we do take a lot of time to, to really concentrate on.